Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing well. And uh, in this class, this is the fourth class for uh, SAP SCM. And in this class, we'll do some practical thing, right? So related to BVP. So what is BVP? That is business blueprint. So in last class, I discussed about what is BVP and how to do the work. And uh, especially we did, you know, in last class, we did theory part. So in this class, we'll do practically, we will understand practically. So in today's class, we'll understand what is PA, PSA in theoretical way. I made you understand what is PA and personal A. PA is nothing but personal area. Personal area is nothing but the location. And uh, location, for example, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, etc. Right. And uh, personal area is nothing but the department such as HR department, finance department, marketing department. Right. So in this video, we'll do some practical things. So let's go on server page. Here I am on SAP server and I can log in from this icon. I clicked on it. And I clicked on log on. I put my ID. And put the I, a password and click on enter. Now, in last class, we understood how to make the folders on SAP uh, server. So, you can go in favorite option, clicking on insert folder. You can insert folder, you can name the folder, and clicking on insert transaction, you can put the transaction code and you can make the transactional code for you know transactional code files right and uh, you can put those transactional codes on any folder right so here i made payroll folder tm fol folder tm is nothing but time management pa is personal administration om is organizational management consultant t code is company code right so in these payroll i made uh, transactional code as well so PA03 is for maintain personal control or record. In second uh, uh, video, in second class, I made you understand how to do this, all these things and uh, what is the meaning of those, all those things. You can see here what are the use of these transactional codes. If you have not gone through that, that video, say, class 2, you can go through that video and you can, you know, you can understand what I have taught you. Right. So in this class, we'll do the configuration part. So let's start with the SPRO. SPRO is is what in through this command, through this uh, transactional code, putting SPRO in command box. This is uh, what is the meaning of this SPRO by using SPRO. You can customize edit the and edit the pro project. Right. So directly dial directly directly clicking on double click on spro you can open this right but also i i go back this is the back button this is the cross if you want to cut the page you can cut here right and this is what you can go in previous page right this is yellow one is for previous page going back this is the green one it, it is not highlighted now because you are already on the back page. So this is the green one, which you can take step by step, like one page to one, like by one, one by one, it will take you to the back page. Clicking on cross, this is this is the red icon. You clicking on this, you will be you know you will be cutting the page. Means you are not no more required this page, right? So now again, rather than clicking on this. Uh, now you just do everything manually because in you know future when you'll do you know start doing your work you'll do use you'll use shortcuts but as of now you just do the proper things because in further when you'll be export you can use shortcuts shortcut in in you know in terms of like clicking on this you will directly uh, open this page spro page but now i just want you just do everything manually so here you'll just type s p r o this is the transactional code and this is called command box, right? You should be knowing everything about the SAP server, right? So what everything should be called, right? Uh, this is the print. Here you can print the page. 
find control F. I think you know what is the use of control F. If you want to change something, any word like entire on entire page, suppose sup, yeah, you, this, there is a document where you want to make some changes. Suppose everywhere is written uh, transaction. If you want to uh, you know replace the transaction with command, so you can you know in transaction in first box if there is a transaction in second box you can put command. So once you click on find all you will be seeing that everything will be changed right first page you can go on first page by clicking on this previous page you can go step by step on previous page La next page you can go clicking on this you can go on next page and last page uh, like extremely last you can go on this through clicking on this this is the create new stations right like this uh, you know option will be required and you'll uh, be needing this uh, option and uh, you know maximum six times you can create new sessions suppose if you are doing your work and you are getting some error so you can create new session clicking on this you can you know clicking on this you can create new session right so this is the option for creating new session generates a shortcut right so now you'll do I will type spro and I'm clicking on enter. This page is open, right? So we just need to click on SAP reference image. Here you can click. I clicked on it. Now a page is opening. So now I'll go because uh, I just as I told you that we'll create BBP business blueprint, right? So there are three structures: enterprise structure, organizational structure, and personal structure. So here we are going to work on enterprise structure. So now we'll click on enterprise structure, right? So this is the icon. Just click on this arrow. And now you can click on this option on definition. Okay. So clicking on this arrow. Okay. I clicked on it. Now again, I expanded, expanded the options. Now I'll go in. What option? Now we'll go in human resource management option. Now you can see I expanded the human resource management. Now we can see four options are there. Personal area, personal sub area, employee groups and employee subgroups. So we'll create all these areas and groups here. Right. So first of all, you just understand what is personal area. I told you in, you know, in theory part. That personal area is nothing but locations, right? Location is Bangalore, Pune, Noida, Delhi, Ghaziabad, and other cities of Chandigarh, Mumbai, etc. Right? So we'll create the departments, uh, locations here, and then we'll create personal area means departments, and then we'll create employee group and employee subgroup as well. Right? So let's start with this one. So I'll click on personal area and on this, you know, tick option I clicked on it now our page is open I'll click on personal area option I double clicked on it now there is a page this is the main page where you can start uh, you know start or walk so first of all you just understand by these this page what is this page as I told you this personal areas can be in four digit you know this this can be in alphabetical or numerical right or the com combination of alphabet and numeric right so it is your choice so first of all because once you will be uh, doing a work in any organization there are so many users so first of all you click you can click on position and you can search the numbers which number is available available here so that you, you suppose if um, xyz is not available in this personal area like in this area you can use that right if that is already available, you can't create new entry. Suppose if you are clicking on new entry and putting that the same, you know, uh, personal area in digits, you won't be able to proceed it because this is, it will showing that this is already exist. So to, to make sure that the code you are going to use is not exist, you should make sure clicking on position and finding your code, right? Which is not available. So you'll click on position. And there is a you know box where you can type. 
there are so many numbers here right so you just type triple nine suppose there are so many numbers there are 1000 uh yeah 1000 12 15 everything is there right so you can type here suppose if you want to make your personal area code in numeric format only not in alphabet suppose if you want to create your transactional code in alphabet only so you can create if you want to make your uh, personal area code in mixed way like alphabetical and numerical you can make it as well so here i am typing triple nine four time nine because there are four digits required i clicked on in i click tick, click on continue button i found there is nothing with four time nine so now i clicked on new entries i i i this four time nine come in my mind randomly so i put that and search that by that now i'll put the same right so in new entries i put four time nine again i'll put here a name i'll make delhi right delhi in delhi and after that you can in bracket you can put your name in put, put uh, your put your name initial like uh, suppose for example my name is smita so i am clicking here i am putting here smita singh rajput right underscore this is the month of yeah october month i put here october 2022 for my reference only because there are so many users who must be using this so for my reference only so that i could you know you know find it that this is my uh, you know uh, code only to define only so i put here like this for delhi now again i can put here the street house so now i'm leaving this because we can put here uh, you know what is the that lo support delhi what is the office location proper street and a house number so as of now there's nothing so i'm leaving the, these areas right the, like leaving i'm keeping it empty as well yeah uh, you know po box of po box postal code city everything i'm leaving empty i'll keep here only country key country key is a uh, in because we are in india so in is country code of for india so you can see here in is for india i clicked on it and a uh, reason reason is delhi for delhi you can find here de uh, but i'll show you how it looks like Yeah, you can see the you can see here DL is for Delhi. So I click on it, and now I clicked on this continue, and then I clicked on save button. Now again I put the same. I leave all these areas here as it is. I'll not keep anything in country. I'll keep here again IN India for India, IN for India, reason Delhi for Delhi. DL is uh, you know port for delhi now I, again i clicked on this option continue now i can save this yeah you can see here okay now this pa is saved pa means personal area for delhi is saved again i'll go back okay now you can see here now this four time nine personal area is showing now right earlier it was not showing right and I, again uh, respectively i can make a uh, pa for bangalore for uh, hyderabad for mumbai respectively so again i can do the same process like by doing the same thing i can do it now let's do for uh, bangalore now again I'll click on position. I'll find the available number. So randomly, I'll choose any number, and I'll try to make sure that that number is not available. So then only I'll be able to proceed. So let me do it again. Uh, nineteen eighty nine is my date of birth. So I'm putting here yes, might not be there. Yeah, nineteen with nineteen eighty nine. I'm not finding. We are not finding anything. So, and also please, when you are doing this practice, if you are having the access of server, SAP server, then you can do the practice and also please make sure to note all these data because once you will do, because there are so many things like we'll, upcoming class will do so many things, right? 
so you will have to make the note so that you could because you can't remember everything because you know for delhi what code you have given for pa because i have given four time and might be the day after tomorrow or the day after two three days i'll forget like what code i have given what i could i have given for uh, you know for bangalore location so i should note keep a note for everything because will now we are making the enterprise structure in which we'll do pa psa company group group company sub group and then we'll do some other parts as well so that will be accumulation in after four or five classes you will be hodgepodge that oh my god what i did so once you write everything respectively by the process following the process you will be more clear suppose if you are you know fumbling anywhere or getting confused you can read your note and you can be clear yes yes i did this now i am clear right so please make sure to make the note what so ever you are doing so here i will i'll make a note as well because this is my previous one so i'll make a note here only for uh, mm, uh, let's make a uh, for bvp uh, bazaar accept bazaar alliance let make is pw pw private limited okay and the company name is pw only theek hai all right and the code for speed uh, code for this company is pw will make this in serve on server as well we'll do the practice uh, pw um 03 all right let's do it and i made delhi right so let's remove this i made delhi for delhi i kept the code for time 9 right and now again for bangalore i'm going to make you know let's make it uttarakhand no issues so i choose the number 1989 this is not available and again for bangalore we'll do something else like let me find what number i can get i'll have to check okay and for hr they are hr in delhi hr department finance department and marketing department and that is started on this department started on 8 in 1st of october 2022 again the same marketing department started on 1st november 2022 and bangalore in bangalore uh, you can keep the same like uh, or we can do the same thing like obviously uh departments date should not be changed so i'll keep everything the same the same right a technique technical reason you can say technical reason not personal uh i'll have to continue this class from tomorrow so might be tomorrow i'll continue from this uh, like where i am dropping this uh as i we created the pa code for delhi 999 and again we will do the uh, you know pa will do the configuration for uh, uttarakhand and we got the transaction code uh, not transaction code we got the pa code 1989 so we'll start this session we'll continue this session by tomorrow okay So thanks for watching me thank you very much